how to go full time and how to know if you can go full time in your online business. Let it go and let it happen. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very, very highly requested video about how to go full time and how to know if you can go full time in your online business. If you're new here, my name's Emily. I'm a certified health coach as well as a full-time online business mentor for specifically online coaches, but really any type of entrepreneur. Entrepreneurship is my passion and I'm so happy to have you here. If you're hoping to start a business, if you're just curious about it, or if you already have a business that you're looking to scale. Before we dive into the video, I would really appreciate it if you guys would hit subscribe if you haven't already. It really supports my channel, shows me that this is a platform that y'all like to consume content on. And if you like this video, maybe it's now, maybe it's at the end, don't don't forget to like this video. Again, it shows me that this is a topic and a style of video that you guys enjoy. Y'all, the topic of going full time in your business is, as you can imagine, very in demand. It's something that's a little bit hard to talk about in a direct way, and I'll explain why. Everyone's going full time in your business story looks a little bit different. Sometimes the variation is very stark, um, but there are a lot of similarities. And I kind of want to, you know, share a little bit about my journey going full time to dive into this with. I have a degree in biology. I was a pre-med major. Then I changed to just biology once I decided I did not want to go to medical school. Got out of college, traveled for a couple months. I think I talked about my entire journey in a podcast episode that I'll link below. You guys can watch that. But long story short, I went and got a job in the corporate wellness like sector of the huge hospital in my area. I was certified as a health coach. I started my own health coaching business loved it to death and ended up getting myself into a mentorship that I wasn't a huge fan of actually. It was really, really helpful for me, but in a lot of ways I thought it was missing pieces and doing a disservice to new coaches. So I ended up kind of going a little rogue and starting to design my own business growth strategy. It started working really well. I started helping a few other girls in that mentorship who were just noticing that I was you know, making some traction in, in my business. And in the end, those became my first business mentorship clients. I ended up kind of starting to not have time in the end for health coaching because the business side of things, it was all just really clicking for me. And that is how I got into what I do full time now. For me, going full time was a combination of I had a launch planned that I really had good feelings about it being successful because of the test sales that I'd already done, which is a process that I guide everybody through in my mentorships, um, testing the process and testing the waters. And I knew what my needs were and then the pandemic hit and it just made sense for me to not be in like the line of fire per se in a hospital setting if I didn't need to be. So for me, it was a combination of like the times and my business and I was able to just take off once I had the time to dedicate. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of variation in like what defines your ability to go full time. And I definitely want to talk about that a little bit in just a second. But before we fully dive into my thoughts on going full time as a business owner and the three strategies to start implementing and to have in mind if you want to go full time. I want to talk a little bit about how I could potentially be of direct help to you in your going full time journey. As y'all know, and I've just talked about, this is what I do full time. I help people who want to go full time in online coaching to do that. And I help them to have the strategy that they need to get there, as well as the support and accountability and the network that it takes to really launch into the world of successful online business. Right now I'm in open enrollment for my signature one-on-one -on -one mentorship called the Elevated Coach Mentorship. It is such a phenomenal mentorship, you guys. Inside of this 16-week mentorship, not only do you have access to the entire textbook that my Foundations of Online Coaching students get, over 110 pages directly illustrating and outlining my full coaching strategy. You also have access to my online course, which contains every step of my coaching methodology spoken out in live teaching. It has all my master classes contained. You literally have the full educational package that I offer, but it's also bi-weekly meetings directly with me, as well as with my team of co-coaches who have taken the strategy and used it to go full-time in the industry. Basically, this is a proven method and you are taught by not only myself, the creator of the method, but also by women who are in your exact 
you know, space in your exact industry who have taken that method and brought it to life in their businesses. This setup provides you with the best network, the best resources, the best accountability, and it has proven to be so insanely successful among my client base for over the last two years. All the information on that mentorship as far as structure, investment, how to get involved is down below. I highly encourage you to fill out the quick application. I think it will take you about three minutes to fill out. Once you hit submit, you can book in for a free consultation with me. We can talk about your goals. I can give you advice. And if we decide it's a good fit, for you. I'd love to talk you through what that onboarding process looks like. So now that that's out of the way and y'all know where you can get the full bulk of the information that I teach, let's dive into the three kind of pillars of going full time, the necessary elements that you need to have in mind if you're going to take this thing as your number one career and job. A little bit of a pre topic is that you need to be viewing every tip that I give here through the lens of what your needs are everybody's needs are different as far as the time that they need to be dedicating to their business or that they want to dedicate as far as the money that they want to be making or that they need to make you need to define clearly what works for you in terms of going full time in your business? How much money do you need to make? How much money do you want to make? What are your requirements as far as keeping yourself busy? You need to have a very clear understanding of what's required of your business to have it satisfy and meet your needs as an individual. And that's not gonna be the same as anybody else. I just did a really amazing podcast episode with a super successful client of mine, Sarah. If you guys know her, she's at Sarah in yellow over on Instagram. And in that episode, we talked a lot about the specific needs that everyone has to go full time and how that differs. Highly recommend you guys give that one a listen. Really informative. Um, getting to hear from someone who's not me about this process. I will link that somewhere up here and also down below. Okay, without further ado, let's dive into the three necessary pillars of going full time. I'm going to intro them here, then we'll dive in. We're going to talk about income predictability. We're going to talk about strategy and we're going to talk about accountability. Truly, I believe that as long as you're aware of your own needs, like these are the three things that matter when it comes to going full time. Let's start off by talking about income predictability. If you guys watched my last video about making your first 5K month, I talked about income predictability and building your income on a monthly basis a little bit. I'll link that down below as well. And up here, I recommend that you guys check that one out. Having income predictability doesn't mean that down to the dollar, you know exactly what you're gonna be making, but it also is a step beyond just like, I guess I'll see what I make this month, right? In the very beginning of your business, it's hard to set very, very specific income goals and have there be any predictability there. But as you move forward in your business, if that's gonna be your lifeline, like your number one income producing thing in your life, you need to have some level of predictability. So this is where we get into how do we achieve income predictability. We're gonna utilize three things for the most part, one being payments, paid in full options or payment plans. Again, like I mentioned in my last video, highly, highly, highly encourage you to create a form of payment plans that allows you to be making income over time. So if you make a sale one month, you may have predictable income from that for the next three to six months. At the same time, I wanna encourage you to utilize paid in full incentives why would someone want to pay in full? Maybe that's just in their heart that they don't want to be in debt, but can you create a financial incentive for them or can you add a little something extra to the program that makes it really worth their time and it makes them think about it if they have the option to pay in full, it might be just that little push that they need. Those are two really important factors of income predictability as well as your sales schedule. That's the third thing here. So whether that be launches or marketing your programs monthly, having consistent wait lists running, or just having open availability and marketing yourself and your programs consistently, you need to know how you're continuing to talk about what you have to offer and to sell continuously. And if you're not gonna sell continuously, what does your launch schedule look like? The biggest mistake you can make when going full time is to plan one big launch, quit your job, do that launch. Maybe it goes great, maybe it doesn't, but Either way, you haven't planned beyond that launch, meaning when you're tired and burnt out and all of a sudden you're working with all these clients that you signed through this launch, you then don't have the energy, the time, or the know-how to plan what's coming up next. 
that's a lot of what I do inside of ECM is I help people to build more of a six to eight to 12 to you know even 18 month plan in their business that keeps them on track even when they're feeling exhausted and like they've got a lot going on and that's what's gonna keep you continuing to make an income in your business even after you go through your initial launching period once you go full time. Okay, so pillars number two and three, which are strategy and accountability when it comes to growing your business to a degree that will allow you to go full time. They really go hand in hand because, and I talk about this a lot on my Instagram. If y'all aren't following me there, it's at Emily Woods Wellness. Highly recommend you check it out. I'm on there every day sharing some kind of funny, inspiring, educational thing, but that's, that's my like closest fam. I feel like that I have. I talk a lot about how the only things in your control in your business are what kind of strategy you equip yourself with and how hard you work at that strategy. So your strategy and your work ethic or consistency are in your control. Everything else, you just have to let it go and let it happen. So if we only have control over two things, we need to be like putting max 11 out of 10 effort into those areas. Let's start with strategy. Your business strategy being cohesive, meaning from the second you identify your niche to how you're performing market research to how you build your program, market, sell it, generate leads, etc. All of those elements of your business need to work together very cohesively. This is why I recommend you invest in mentorship and why as a part of my mentorships, you have the full educational, you know, gamut of resources because when you self-educate or you go online, you go to different social media accounts, you're like, I'm going to figure this out on my own. One thing typically does not fit with the next. And this is an issue because then your strategy is very inconsistent. It's not cohesive. It's not working together. And you can honestly be performing step A and then doing steps B, C, and D, and they're all working against each other. And that is such a major problem, obviously. And you waste so much time having to go back and undo things and redo things. And in general, just maybe having things not work and you don't know why. So learning one cohesive strategy is super important. That alone is a reason I would recommend you invest into a mentorship like ECM, at least apply just to see what the curriculum looks like and if that could benefit you. And then there's accountability because if strategy and consistency are the only things within your control, then the one thing that promotes consistency is accountability. Having somebody there to keep you on track, make sure you're doing what you need to do, working through the hard days, you know, letting yourself be challenged, but also taking into account that you still have to keep pushing forward in spite of that. You have to be extraordinarily resilient if you're going to be a full-time business owner. So having accountability in that area and support in that area, especially in the beginning, is so, so essential. So do not underestimate the power of having a, a mentor or you know an accountability buddy at the very least to keep you moving in the right direction. The biggest thing to note here is like having accountability versus just being very consistent, kind of all on your own. Having an external source of accountability is going to help you get over and around the barriers that are causing other people to quit. Let me talk about that for a second because that's a really important thing to remember. You are going to encounter challenges, struggles, different things in your business that may push you to your motivational limit, that feel too challenging to overcome on your own, that feel disappointing or hard or whatever it may be. And you have to remember that at each of those like checkpoints, as we're going to call them, they're kind of like rites of passage. And a lot of people get so tripped up at these checkpoints that they quit. If it's making your first sale, if it's learning how to do lead generation, if it's directing and optimizing your first into your second launch, whatever it is, these checkpoints, there are people falling off the bandwagon the whole live long day you have to equip yourself with the accountability and the support to keep all the pieces together so you can actually get around or over those barriers that other people are not navigating through. The best way to do this is not just to have an accountability buddy that's also in the industry that may also be struggling with the same things and y'all may just end up struggling together. It's to get somebody who's been where you've been, gotten through and over those barriers and checkpoints successfully and can help you to navigate and stay consistent through those points. That's exactly what I am for people during their journeys through the Elevated Coach Mentorship. So 
If that is resonating for you and you feel aligned with the idea of these pillars and what it takes to go full time and you're like, yeah, I'm ready to commit to that process and get into a mentorship that is going to promote me and be my advocate and help me to advocate for myself, the Elevated Coach Mentorship is the one for you. Like I said, at the link below is all the information about the entire mentorship, as well as the quick three minute application, which will lead you straight to booking a free consultation with yours truly. I will only recommend you join the program if I think it is going to be a 10 out of 10 fit for you. And you can trust me on that. Feel free to reach out to me over on Instagram if you want me to share with you the Instagrams of anyone who's worked with me in these mentorships and you want to talk with anybody, um, whether or not you decide to join, like the perspective can be cool and I'm happy to do that or just to chat with you in any capacity in the DMs. So you guys, I hope you found this helpful. Let me know down below or shoot me a DM over on IG if you're planning on going full time. If that's a goal of yours, you just need help to get there. I'd love to be a resource for you in any way that I can. And thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Again, please hit subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mwah.